Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more of the Thaumaturge with the new look Victor, and we're on the trail of the Djinn. We're following a thief from the Gossini Dvor Bazaar, and we're told that they're near a laundry, which is... It's going to be around here somewhere. It might even be this building. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there is something up here as well. I think it's locked, but we could go and have a look. Yeah. Near. Yeah. I, I mean, we're following our trail, I suppose. Oh, ah. should be something around here. Aha. The lower half of the door is freshly painted. There is some instruction lingering on the door. Three quick ones, two slow ones, remember. Words uttered firmly, resolutely, so that they are kept in memory and treated seriously. Sounds like a secret knock. The girl has a younger brother, and they seem to have a pretty hard life. It appears that I found her home. Now I just need to get through the door that's painted up to the height of a small child. <laughs> yeah, I just want to, um, I want to go up here, oh, that's him. straight into a fight. You oozing carbuncle. Hey. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. Oh, look at the clean cut of Victor. He means business now. Uh, who? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the mood for trouble. Why not? And who am I supposedly bothering? And you've wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet. What have we got? This is the contract thing. It's, oh no, this is going to do a hidden thing. We've got Book of Arch, uh, Upir, Velas. Yeah, we might start with Velas. He's got very low focus. He's probably a good one to try and take out quickly. So let's get the snake boy up in here. I'll uh, we'll do a nice quick attack on him, I think. Uh, I guess I'll do a focus reduction. Victor looks like a completely different person. <laughs> uh, okay, so his focus is low. Um, what to do, what to do. I think what I'll do is another focus. Um, and maybe a quick attack on one of these boys. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that one. But let's. Uh, this is Upir, isn't it? Let's get Upir up. And we will. What do we want to do on him? If we do a fairly quick one. Um, it's not a bad one. I'm just thinking we could get. Um, a salute or two to finish off this guy, hopefully. Once we've got his focus gone. Oh. Okay, so he's got 32. We could do... Tw I mean, you know what we could do? I think they're saying a 72% chance of just killing this guy. So I think we do that. That's decent odds, isn't it? Uh, we could go at this guy. Um, oh, we've got a decent chance of... Well, 60% chance of one-shotting him. Come on, come on. Four. Four. Oh, you only did 12. That, that was less than the minimum you could have done. What earth are you doing? Wait, What? Why? Huh? Why did he? Who did he? Did I attack the wrong person? Was it? Did I attack this guy? Oh, that was. I don't think so, because his focus is back. All right, you know what? Lalek, get rid of this guy's focus. Uh, I'll probably. Mm, I don't have any negative states. He's not in suffering either. Uh, let's just do that. Starting to take a little bit of damage now. 
Okay, he's broken again. All right, Velez. I'll give you another chance to do this. This guy, 15 to 75. I mean, that should that should be a finish. I don't know why he didn't do that before. This guy... Uh, I'm just gonna... Hmm, it's not very effective. Let's just... Let's make sure of him. Why is... Oh, is it, he's attacking the... Wait a minute. When it says attacks a random enemy, may... Oh, maybe... Maybe I misunderstood what that meant. Oh, God. Okay, well, we're going to need Velez to attack again, I think, just to get some health back, so... Yeah. Okay, come on. And this guy... I don't really want to attack him. I'm going with a slow attack. Come on, triple heal. No? Ooh, that was a big hit, though. I have to remember that that Velez finisher, it actually, would it, I thought it would do the thing on the guy we targeted and then attack a random person. Either, I, I don't know what I thought, but that's not how that works. So, um, I think we just punch him out with a quick one. And we need, uh, he's, uh, he's on Bukovac. So I guess we should probably do that. not a kill that, but if we do a quick attack on him, it may be. Onk! I'm going to do two. He's going to do... Oh, I can't remember how much he's doing. I think if we do that, though, there's a good chance of it. Oh, yeah, especially because we'll be going first. Yeah. I teach you to be slightly rude to me in the street. I want to just have a quick look up here. What's this? Pushed... Oh, sorry. Patched jacket. It looks heavy. The jacket is bitten by harsh curses tossed around in pent-up rage at his wife, who dared to criticise the threadbare checkered fabric and the ragged patches. It's his favourite jacket. So what if he looks like a beggar in it? He doesn't have to be dapper. He's there. And that's enough. Okay. Strong matrimonial feelings there. Oh, this is Mordecai's office. This is a, this isn't locked anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that's main quest stuff. So let's leave that just for the time being. What else have we got? Well, I might just do this little loop and then come back up here to. Uh, oh no, where's the house? It's it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe. We'll, maybe I'll just do a little loop to see if we can see anything around here. Where's the loop go? Something over here. The world around us. Announcements. Tonight we expect to observe unusual phenomena in the sky, Mordecai Eisenbaum argues, and invites all astronomy enthusiasts to his studio to look out together for a passing comet. We don't need to introduce this inventor to our readers. The last issue featured an extensive interview about the new telescope designed by Eisenbaum. I think we read that. It's certainly a good idea to take advantage of this invitation. Mm. A copy of the popular science paper opened on the middle page. Mordecai Eisenbaum invites everyone to his apartment to observe unusual phenomena in the sky. Hmm. Is that all there is here? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Got nice being in a new, a new region, new stuff to discover. Been here already? Uh, yeah, let's go south and then we'll take in that uh, point of interest. I had a feeling it might be one, might have been one of these. The the bazaar the bazaar that's just bazaar in Russian Cyrillic and that says bazaar so it's a bazaar it's a bazaar bazaar I don't know if it's the bazaar we were already at whether it's an even more bazaar bazaar but it's possible. The bazaar we were at was quite bizarre, so... I don't know. I'll stop saying it now. The word has lost all meaning. Okay. Carriage. This is... 
I have a husband, go away. The people of Warsaw, the women of Warsaw are really thinking that Victor is uh, pursuing them. He's obviously giving off some sort of vibes with this moustache. Is this something? Nothing can be kept secret from me. Scarf. There are some words of anxious explanation entangled in the fringe. So what if the scarf is in the men's department? The diamonds would go great with the lace. And if I had the shoes I took from Yannick, it would be perfect. Fashion is for the bold. Not so hard, is it? Everyone can see the way you are, whether you wear silk or a paper bag, whether your style is classic, avant-garde or casual. Tartan, argyle, lace, spirals, embroidery and golden threads. Everything matches everything. You can get away with anything as long as you wear it with confidence. Quite sure what that's an aid of, but I think we've got something up here as well. Whoop. Letter. My dear, we are meeting again this evening for bridge at the usual place. I will need a resolute partner this time, so I, get, I hope you will not refuse my invitation. Give my name at the entrance and the host will show you to your place. I may be a little late. Stay in good health and see you there. J.N. Limited quest. How are we doing? Uh, oh, okay, so I've done that row, haven't I? So, and I've done that's the bazaar. Uh, huh, there's points of interest here I didn't do. Uh, okay, let's check them out. By some khala. I presume that's how it's pronounced. The smell of freshly baked khala brings back old memories like an echo of a forgotten tune, entwined deep in the consciousness like braids of yeast dough. Okay, go around this way, I think. Ooh, we got some up. Okrana agents report. On September 3rd, after receiving anonymous information about a suspicious gathering in an apartment at 38 Dvardovskiego Street, I went to the indi indicated address. When I arrived, it turned out that there was a group of 12 people playing bridge. I checked the identity of those assembled and informed my superior of the need to inspect the place regularly, as breach could, a bridge could be a cover for subversive activities. Huh. It was quite fraught living in a secret police state. And indeed, I think there are still countries that, that have that, so not something I'm particularly keen to experience. And what's this? Old pharmacy. I might go in there. I can't I can't remember if that's linked to anything we're doing at the moment. I'm not sure where that is. Oh, the Shulsky family shop. Yeah, we've we've uh go back to there at some point, I'm sure. Hmm. There is nothing here. Interesting. I'm sure it'll tie in with something a bit later, though. All right. Remind myself where I am. So we need to get back to sort of down here, don't we? So sort of straight down this street, past the barber again. Does the horse stop? The horse does stop if I get in the way. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, that's a tram. Uh, yeah. Sit down. You know, down here. I've heard the gin, uh, you know, I just read a random comment on the Steam forum, but someone said the gin was quite uh, quite a good salutor. So I'm looking forward to getting them. I'm guessing this sort of second tier of salutors maybe is slightly more powerful than the, the first tier. Would make sense. Let's try. Agreed upon signal. Open sesame. How did you know the password, Ganef? I know your sister. I am a friend of your sister. She doesn't mix with Ganefs. Back off, Charles. Do you even know what it means, you little shit? <laughs> I didn't want to get quite I that had aggressive. I have no foreigner teach me Warsaw speak. It's clear you're not from around here. I can spot a wise guy from a mile off. 
I'll get my guys if I need to. Don't get in my way, understand? There's nothing for you here, posh boy. The boy is exceptionally wary and diverse to with strangers. I can tell he's on his guard not to let anything slip, not to say too much. Hmm. Oh, we're going to search the place. Blanket. Trey certain, Gabrish. Under it, he held his breath and pretended he wasn't there as Layla yelled at their father for being useless. Then he held his breath and pretended he wasn't there when his sisters took him to Warsaw, lying that they were going alone. This is not a blanket. This is a true cape of invisibility. Yeah, that's Gabrish. Picture on a wall. Old, uninteresting, in a simple wooden frame. Layla. The picture is a vessel for the intense memories that emanate from it. It's the only thing she took from her home in Barsis, a village with no prospects, and the father. The father. Sentimental memories are suddenly pierced by strong determination not to end up like him. Whatever it takes. Table. There are words hanging above the table that accompany harmless sibling squabbles. One of them prefers potato dumplings with onion, the other with cream. The boy's voice prevails. Dad always made them with onion and he wants to go home. And so the harmless banter turns into something bigger. Mm. Cardboard in the window. This inconspicuous place is scorching hot with accumulated emotions. It's a mixture of a jarring disgust at living in a place like this, but also hope that everything will soon change for the better. It has to. Finally, there is a sense of responsibility for the loved ones. Layla takes care of her brother and sisters that she took from their home in Barsis, hoping to provide a better existence for them. They had no prospects there, and she saw Warsaw as a chance for a good life for them. They're doing their best, but still struggling with the toils of everyday life. One of many similar stories. It's at the door I came in. Okay. So let's talk again with Gabrish, I suppose. Fondled everything yet, Claude? Then get lost! Why do you swear so much? Should I scrub your tongue out with soap? Who taught you such foul language? Your sister doesn't speak like this, that's for sure. We can't afford soap, you bourgeois bastard! <laughs> Let's talk about your sister, and about you. I know her name is Layla. I'm not talking to Ganefs! I also like potato dumplings, garnished with onions, browned in a hot pan. The kind your sister makes for you. Stop annoying me! I'll invite you both for some freshly kneaded dumplings, provided you tell me where Layla is. Don't lie to me, Ganef! A cracked window is nothing pleasant. Four will come soon. Layla wants you to find a better place. If you don't tell me where she is, I won't be able to help you. Yeah, right. That checkered blanket. You used to hide under it when your sister was arguing with your father, didn't you? And? I could feel how scared you were when she smuggled you in it through the Warsaw turnpikes. All right, I'll tell you. As long as it gets you out of here. She's probably at the harem. It's a local brothel, not far from here. Just don't get any ideas. She doesn't work there. Thank you. Ganef. Mm. All right, I guess we're on our way. Let's have a look. Ah, it's up that way. Okie doke. I wonder if she'll recognise us with our new hair and moustache. Probably. <laughs> yes. Of course. 
You try to deceive me, but it's not gonna happen. You'll be mine. What have we got? Read something? Unfinished letter. Dear Gigi, First, let me inform you we are alive. We were spared those horrible events, but only through exceptional fortune or protection from higher powers, not because our address was not yet known to the general public. It is difficult to express the fear we were li living in. The angry mob, like a stampede, demolished all the businesses in Krofmalna Street. They showed no mercy to either men or women. Our girls took shelter in an outbuilding, barring the door with everything they could. I brought them food there, sneaking through the streets after dark. You are right, dear Yi Gigi, to leave this town. Do not come back. I am writing these words as your well-meaning friend. I fear that many faces you used to know are... And that was it. Oh, that's Layla. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we will talk to her, but let's... We could uh, have a look what else is around here. Hasty Notes, 1893 Chicago World Exhibition. Little Egypt's dancing performance, sensational. To the tune of the streets of Cairo, get sheet music. They call it Danse du Ventre or Hoochie Coochie. Use your contacts in Paris. Crazy idea, review starring our girls. The madam is uh, planning to move a little more upmarket perhaps. There's a safe. Okay, I think we have to talk to Layla and then we've probably got, we'll have stuff to uh, discover here. Let's talk to her for now. How much can I get for this loot? We have a guest. Is it nice to eavesdrop like this? I have business with the lady. Business that doesn't concern you. Darling, everything here is my business. As is everything that involves like Fagan. <laughs> if he pesters you, you know what to do. And you better behave yourself. Or you'll scare away the girls. Is he your friend? Why, are you interested in him? Or maybe you're interested in me? I must have caught your eye. Tweezer is a pimp, a fence, and the owner of the harem. Dangerous man. Uh. Meh, I don't want to get too proud. That, sure. You have something. I want. I'm not here to grant your wishes. Hey, you there! Yeah? Got a problem? My brave assistants will show you the door. Try not to resist too much. They don't like it. I will deal with them on the spot. And you, don't go anywhere. Hello, future boring dad here. So it turns out that at this point in the video, I managed to mute my microphone, possibly to sneeze or cough or something, and then uh, neg negated to um, neglected to actually turn it back on. So, the <laughs> so I don't have any commentary recorded for the rest of this video. Um, I have done this before. Usually, what I do is just try and redub the bits that I've accidentally muted and uh, try and make it all quite seamless. There's a lot of this though, so I'm not going to do that this time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and I will read out things that I've read out on the screen. Um, here and there, maybe maybe I'll give my thoughts on what I'm doing. I think at the moment I'm just kind of checking to see if I can uh, level up my salutors to level 7. I cannot do this yet. I think I can only do this when I have the sort of the next set of salutors in. Um, but yeah, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to talk over all the rest of this video. A lot, a lot of it's the characters talking, which I tend to let them do anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'll I'll probably just uh, stop the commentary here. I'll come back in when there's, when there's stuff to read. I'll read it out, as I usually do. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.
What is it? Armchair, a shabby, uncomfortable piece of furniture. Sitting and waiting for Tweezer, who was late as usual, she kept repeating the safe code in her mind. 1891. I wonder if that's an important year for him. Well, I guess it doesn't make much difference. Lipstick, red, left by one of the prostitutes. The lipstick's red covered lips as they uttered words of comfort for a concerned colleague. Assurance that this was the way things were around her ever since the pogrom. All she had to do was get the client tired and drunk, and make sure she didn't steal too much so that he wouldn't notice. That was the boss's order. Watch. Looks like another watch stolen at the Gossini Dvor Bazaar. The watch's hands indicate the time, but also the direction of the emotions, filling the thief's heart. Anger at getting such a pittance for her spoils, but also satisfaction from the fact that she gets what she deserves on her own, and still no one has found out. Hello, sweet secret. Rolls of banknotes. The safe is filled with filled with them. Most banknotes bear a memory of fingers that slipped them out gently from their drunk owner's pockets. Some fingers were more nimble and others were trembling like a leaf guided by inept hands. Eventually, they all ended up in the safe. Tell me, will my people be all right after all that? They'll live. I also told you to behave yourself. It's a nice place. Why call it harem? And why won't the Thaumaturge start answering questions instead of asking them? I wonder how it is with you lot in bed. What are those demons of yours up to then? On behalf of all Tempermancers, I must stress that this is carefully guarded knowledge. But you've intrigued me, sorcerer. Why Tweezer? Cause it appeals to the imagination. But I've also heard a few creative variations. I think I enjoyed Squeezer the most. Get it? I see. It's kind of funny. I'll be off now. Go. Do something foul. Fancy sculpture placed in the hall as a status symbol. There's a subtle haze of gossipy whispers hovering around the sculpture. It's the girls praising tw Tweezer's shrewdness and resourcefulness. Many pimps have lost their lives and fortunes in the pogrom, while he not only got away but is now thriving better than ever. Could he be in cahoots with the Akrana? Fearless, the harem is run heavy-handedly by Tweezer, a pimp and a fence that Leela sells her spoils to. The girl is not happy with the money she gets, so she adds to it by robbing the safe where the prostitutes keep the money they steal from their clients. It's a thief's world, but it has its own laws too. Uh, 
And again, I find myself under the gaze of those inquisitive eyes. Were you here in May, during the pimp lynching? I was. I was. But I'm still here. Sadly, not everyone was as fortunate. Luck can also be helped, right? If one has, for example, a deal with the Ochranas provocateurs, it can make a lot of things easier. They say that luck favors those who manage on their own. I'm alive, and the girls have a place to work. Everyone is happy. So what if the hateful mob targets all magicians tomorrow? And the only rescue for you and your friends will be to make a deal with the Ohrana. Will you help your luck then, or will you complain? I don't know. I'm not in a similar situation. Based on what I hear on the street, I'd start considering such matters. What caused the lynching? No, no, kitty cat. The right question is why? However, no one knows this for sure. Some say it was anti-Semitic workers. Others say that it's provocation from the Ohrana because soldate are regulars here. Sometimes bad blood needs to be spilled to make the rabble docile again. I have some other questions. There are so many more pleasant things you could do here with that mouth. But ask. A lot happens here. It seems like an ordinary brothel, but it's managed rather creatively. Instead of putting your hands on things, Maybe start putting them on beautiful ladies. Or gentlemen. The choice is yours. I don't know if touching anyone would tell me that Layla has been skimming from your safe. Layla! I'm busy. Busy getting into my safe? Says who? I know the combination. I know that you keep repeating it in your head when you're bored. Did you hear me? Mind your thoughts around this one or he'll expose you for the deviant you are. This is no secret. The gold watch you lifted from the Dvor whispered to me that you're equally cautious when lifting banknotes from the safe. Not too much either, so that no one catches on. You talk to watches? Maybe you're a snake charmer, too. Yes. Layla, pockets. Come on. Is 1891 an important date? Pockets. That's enough before you do something that you'll regret. What? Did the great magician change his mind out of pity for the poor girl? I'll manage. I always do. This time, you won't have to look after everything on your own. Get out of here, both of you, and don't come back! I'm not used to someone standing up for me. Thank you. I'm here because of a salutor. It's called Jin, and it's following you. What? Is he here now? Can you see him? I don't have to. I can see you and I know he's around. Are you trying to seduce me? Stand still. It will all be over soon. Her audacity certainly helped Layla and her brother tackle their fate. But it also led you down the path of transgression. Without it, you will cease to be the Jin's puppet.
You're mine, almost. Is... is it over? I don't feel particularly different, except that I don't want to be here anymore. I have to go back to my brother. Will you be all right? Yes, I'm almost certain of that. Rest. You look awful. Good luck. Ah, I find a magazine I'm looking for. This is for the tailor. Uh, at this point, I'm uh, excited about the prospect of getting some new clothes from the tailor. So we're going to do that later on in this episode. Good evening. I thought that there'd be something to look at. Much ado about nothing. Who are you? Last time a different housekeeper came to greet me. How about that? What? Don't you like us? That remains to be seen. We haven't known one another long enough. I have all I need to know who I'm dealing with. This is Maria. And this is Magdalena. We've all been waiting for you. Maria and Magdalena. Very interesting. Do you work for the Nandarzyńskis? Grigory invited us here. He's waiting for you. I've come to see you, Rasputin. We know, we know. It looks familiar, and yet different. Well, well. At last, the wait is over. Here he is. Sit down, Victor. 
What's going on? What sort of little shindig is this? It's an expression of gratitude. I didn't expect crowds. I was hoping we could speak privately. Patience. Have a seat, as I asked you, and all will be explained. I came because my head's hurting again. Have a seat, please. Support the weak. Be patient towards all men. The moment has finally come. Here too is my loyal friend, Viktor Sholsky. It's thanks to him that we are where we are. And we will be in the future, where we intend. My mind has long been flooded with bloody visions. In their scarlet color, the mists of the future are reflected. I see a great star falling to the blood-stained earth, and the force of its impact tears the roof from sacred temples, including the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene, here in Braga. The earth swallows up the Iberian Gate. Kazan Cathedral stands underwater, and Notre Dame de Paris is consumed by fire. Our homeland will then be exhausted by an illness that has long eaten away at her. There is a feeble spark of hope for us. It still flickers, though it may soon go out. No. The heir to the throne, little Alexei Romanov, is ill. What's troubling him? Life is spilling out of him. The devil himself is tearing him apart from the inside, demanding blood. Poor child. But let's not be sad. This news is joyful, as a matter of fact. Because now we know where the source of the danger is, and I can help him. I will heal the heir. Just as I heal Victor, though he was bereft of hope. Isn't that true, friend? It's true. If not for Grigori, I wouldn't be among you anymore. I'd have lost my mind. But thanks to his miracles, I'm still here, and I can testify to that. I've helped you, just as you've helped us all. Thank you, friend. You can count on me. Admirable loyalty. Impressive. You gave us a chance, and as God as my witness, I won't waste it. Healing the Tsarevich means healing something much greater. The future. A future where each of us will receive equality and respect, regardless of who we are. Free from the afflictions of the body and the soul. Living in health and its resulting ecstasy. Finally, in a future in which we can do anything, but don't have to do anything. Offering unhindered freedom. To the Thaumaturge's health! I'd rather not wake up to sights like that. My head's about to explode. You didn't want Ligia to see you in such a state. In that case, it could have been one of my best decisions. Looking at the events of last night may be the only right one. Time to get up, get yourself together, and uh, we'll talk later. Sleep is a waste of time. Sofa, there are pillows scattered around the couch. A lot happened here. 
She was laughing out loud, trying to stop him from saying bawdy words, but he didn't stop, instead only making her laugh more and more until the long-awaited satisfaction occurred. Apron, a servant-stained apron. She sincerely enjoyed the work. The Nedozinskis were good to her, but things couldn't continue like this. In the anger that permeates every fibre of her apron, one can sense an echo of longing for good, trouble-free times, for the times when he wasn't here. Broom. Each sweep of the broom brought words full of contempt to her lips. What kind of company is this? Mr and Mrs Nedozinski have started associating with very strange people. To invite such guests is not proper. And the Shilsky fellow? Such a decent name, yet he's no better than the others. So it appears that Rasputin has been making a nuisance of himself. Salt on the doorstep. A hand trembling in fright scattered the salt in hopes of warding off a devilish spirit. Salt was supposed to be good. It was supposed to chase away all evil, even in this form. Only the devil could sink, stink like that. But salt is good. It will guard against him too. Servants' worries. Everything indicates that the Nenezhinsky's dutiful maid couldn't stand the presence of Rasputin or the guests who he brought in under the once respected roof, so she left their employ. She saw him as the devil and looked for a way to ward off the evil spirit, but was apparently unsuccessful. There's a lot to find here. Empty bottles. Yeah, he's just uh, stuff for the party. There's a few other things to find. I think that's in the other room. Uh, something out here. Suitcase. It looks cheap. Whatever it holds, it isn't worth much. The modest possessions of the glow, glow of hope around them. Hope for a change of fate that seems predetermined. He said he would take care of her, that she was important to him. All she gave him in return was her heart. So that's one of the women that we saw on the way in. And this one... Uh, medal. A Tsar's medal. I wonder what it's doing here instead of being proudly pinned to a uniform. Unpinned from uniform in the act of pledging allegiance to Rasputin. The hand that did it trembled, but that lasted only a fraction of a second. In the end, loyalty read to Rasputin was... Um, sorry, I missed the final word there. Obviously read it quicker the first time around. Uh, a glass of wine. Strange desire lingered on the imprint of the woman's lips. Something new, as if born recently, unexpectedly. The heart freed itself from the fetters of morality and brought previously unknown joy to the body. Rasputin caused this. Incredible. That's Aniela Nadezhinska. Ashtray. This is the other lady at the front door. One after another after another, the ashtray reveals that the smoker seeks a moment of solace in the ritual cigarette. But the solace does not come, so another cigarette is lit. Maybe this healer will actually help her. Maybe he will fulfil his promises and her life will finally improve. Uh, yes. Pipe. It's wooden that looks like it gets a lot of use. It must belong to Lucian. Smoking the pipe was accompanied by a series of persistent thoughts centred around a dominant one. This is wrong. The immorality of the householder's behaviour is unacceptable to the smoker. It shouldn't be like this. A colourful group of cultists. Rasputin has gathered a very colourful group of people around him who don't seem to have much in common at first glance. They come from different social strata, have different personalities, and yet, yet they share the same blind kind of trust in Rasputin, or at least in his promises. Is this the beginning of a cult? Lucian seems to be the only one with a different opinion. All right. Read the little thing on the desk. Invitation to a party. Dear Countess, I trust to find you in good health. I wish to invite you to a unique prayer session that will be held at our humble apartment on Pover street. The session will be presided over by our guest, an exceptional person who through prayer is able to reach the very core of the human soul. Seeing as you are a particularly spiritual person, I expect you would like to attend this experience and experience piety from an entirely new perspective. That's from Anelia. Aniela, I mean. Okay. There you are. Finally. Listen, I really can't handle this anymore. Well... I'm not going to refuse you. Grigori? Where did you find that salutor? In the Sahara? It's a gem. A master of wishes in his own form. Quickly, Victor, before he buries us both. Focus on your wish.
extraordinary. He doesn't threaten you anymore. Your wish is his command. We're going to take a look at um, the Jin and what he can do. So he's got some, got some moves. Uh, lifelong debt. So it, with this one, he inflicts damage, and restores our health. But he also gives us the uh, the bloody debt, which means after two rounds, we'll take sixteen damage, uh, which is interesting. Um, I, I realise later on I can probably combine this with Lelex one that casts negative states on uh, from ourselves onto enemies. So that is quite a good heal actually. Dervish's nightmare, uh, where we put the bloody debt. Um, on another on an enemy so that's like a delayed damage uh, Corrine's persuasion um, so we do big he does big damage but he'll inflict this payback on us again probably something we can shift with uh, Lelek so I think it's worthwhile and last wish inflicts damage casts uh, bloody debt onto all enemies so again quite useful I think that's his uh, his ultimate that happens when you knock off the focus so yeah Interesting stuff there. Would be good to use him in combat. Uh, just seeing if I can get that um, st uh, status up, the, the the heart. I think I can get it up to six. Mm, not sure. Doesn't seem to be going up anymore. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm starting to think like seven is the maximum for any of these uh, stats. Um, but I don't think I, I can't get it up any higher just at the moment. I think at the moment I'm just speculating on whether we can use all five in a battle or whether we have to pick like a set of four salutors to take into a fight. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see in a few moments uh, what happens. But um, yeah, no, we do. We do. We do find that out. Now I, w I did give. I was given like a limited time to finish this horses in the sky. So um, I'm not going to pursue any main threads at the moment. Um, like there's another limited time one there that we're running out of time to do. Yeah, I, th I think mainly we want to... I don't know why I keep circling this. I, I was obviously saying something. I have no memory of what I was saying there. Uh, <laughs> um, but we're, we're going to go out and we're going to um, give the uh, designs to the tailor. I think we get another scrap. Um, but yeah. Fate has brought us together again, Viktor Shulsky. Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you! All right. To me, visitors, to me! So this guy again, I decided to fight him just because uh, I quite enjoy the combat. I don't really see the need to avoid it. Um, we can see here that we do get the five salutors, so I have every reason to think that when we get the next few that we'll have a choice of all eight in a combat. I have to try and mentally keep track of uh, who does what. Um, but yeah, we're going to try out the gin here. Um, enjoy the fight.
Never. There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. I will be ready, White Roman. You will not know the day nor time. That is the creed of Tempermancers. Yes, yes, just not here. My sister will kill me. Stay well. Until fate makes our paths cross again, King of the Tempermancers. Lost button. The worn-out button fell into a puddle. It was once sewn to a coat, manifesting the memory of the uprising in direct defiance of the Russians. Years later it found a home on a new coat. This one, however, though gifted by grandchildren in good faith, is only a poor copy of the beloved former outfit. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. Okay, so let's check out the new coat, trousers, and etc. Waistcoat type thing. Let's have a look. So we have saturated pride, crisscross unapproachability, and hint of disregard. Now I, I like this. I like this look. So we're gonna we're gonna rock this for a little while, um, and yeah, gonna head back out into the streets of Warsaw. There we go. And get out of here. So, I'm just going to say thanks very much for watching at this point. I hope you've been enjoying it. Um, sorry again for the, the audio issues in this one with me 
Muting my mic credit may well have been because the dog was barking at someone outside. I do try and eliminate as much of that as I can, but a lot of it still gets through. Um, and sometimes I forget to put it back on. But anyway, thanks very much for persisting with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it in spite of that. If you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game so far. The new look Victor, the new Jin sal Salutor that we've got. Anything you're thinking of would be great to hear. And if you're um, watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, it'd be great if you could do that as well. So thanks very much. And I hope to see you next time.